Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering with Preetam and in this PTC Curio Parametric series. In this video, we will try to understand a reference pattern. And if you are following us along, you know that uh, we are covering almost all the topics. And if you are following us along, uh, this I would say is 69th video on PTC Creo Parametric where we are covering PTC Creo from zero and probably the fourth or fifth video on pattern tool. If you want to see other variants of pattern, I would suggest you check out the link that I have added in the description of this video and be sure to subscribe if you want to follow engineering topics like this. Okay, so now let's go back here in the topic of this video, which is how we can create a reference pattern inside PTC Creo Parametric. The reference pattern, I would say, is one of the most powerful tools that allow you to pattern a feature based on existing pattern reference which means that you only can create a reference pattern if there is already a pattern. So if I go here and uh, see the reference pattern is disabled. This is because there is no such use case scenario we have created yet. So let's create one such use case scenario where we will see how reference pattern could be very useful. So first of all, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select uh, this particular feature that you can see here. And let's say I would like to create five instances of it. And just quickly, I'm gonna select this direction pattern, which is kind of favorite of mine because it is so easy to use. Let me give the distance between them at 30. And there we go. So let's say this was the entity or feature that you would like to replicate in a form of multiple instances. And at a time you realize that, oh, there needs to be something more to it. For example, let's say I forget to add a round, okay? So I added this round later on, but is it possible that I can also apply this round to all? Because this feature we have added on the top of this uh, entity, which we created pattern of. So here I would say the reference pattern comes into play. Let me select this round for and click on pattern. So here you can see the PTC Creo is intelligent enough to recognize the existing pattern and offering us a reference pattern. Though we have not selected it, uh, you can see it says that, you know, reference pattern is applicable here because we are creating pattern of a feature that is completely dependent on the existing pattern entity. So now all you need to do is you need to click OK. And there we go guys, here we can see we have added a round feature to all these instances. And as always I say, uh, you can go back to edit definition and can select, let's say you do not want the round to be added to this particular one. That is possible and that's how you can, uh, you know, customize it. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that a reference pattern concept is now clear to you. Be sure to subscribe to Engineering Preetum to follow complete PTC Geo Parametric series and other engineering related topics. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.